Yeah, yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Gasson, and we're back. So, back by popular demand, we're gonna do a clan war, and this couldn't have been at a better time because we have two leaderboard clans going at it, and it's funny because these are a main clan and a sister clan that are matched up, so we're gonna see just exactly how they go. I'm gonna try and get in here. Let's see how fast I can join this thing. Um, but now that I'm in, let's go ahead and see the war that they have going on. I'm a little late, but let's jump in there. Okay, so we do have a replay of some Valkyries. Now what the heck is this guy doing? He's got five, it is five jump spells. <laughs> what the heck is he doing? This must be a troll attack. Usually that's what you will see if you have two clans that are uh, partnered up together. A sister clan and a main clan. They don't really take it too seriously, so they'll troll each other. And it looks like Enzo's going in for the troll. He's got Valkyries all over the place. These guys are rushing to the town hall. Now the problem is he's got a lot of jump spells but no freeze spells so these inferno towers are just going to chew him up. And of course they have the air units as well so the Valkyries have no chance with these air troops up there. But they're going to try and take out as many things as they can before they go down. And so now he has only the heroes left. The king's going to activate and try and push his way to the town hall. Maybe he's got nothing to prove and he just wants to take out these clan castle troops. In any case, he's forcing his way. Queen's activated. She's going to try and take out all of this stuff to try and get to the town hall, but it doesn't look like she can make it because she has all the weapons targeted her, and Queen's go down super fast. So there's our first troll attack. Let's see what we have next. All right, you guys. Next up, we have another attack from another King's Throne member. Let's see what he can do. Now... I see a lot of healers. I'm not sure why he's doing that. Healers don't really attack when they're all out there like that. So maybe he's going to try and throw them on his heroes. I'm guessing. That's how I would probably use it. But I don't think that technique works too well anymore. Just because the heroes got nerfed so well. So bad, actually. <laughs> okay, he's going to take out all the clan castle troops. Lots of archers that go down with one lightning spell. And yes, they are healing the king. He put all of his healers onto the king and he is now officially a paladin he is a holy warrior he's going in for the kill gosh just as long as he can stay away from the infernal towers and the archer or sorry the air defenses don't take out the healers then he should be good and the king is just taking major damage the healers are not in the rage spell, so they can't really help him. But he's maintaining just a little bit. He activates the king, and he's going to push his way in. That witch is going to stand no chance once he gets through this wall. And down she goes. Oh, my gosh. The king is just right in the middle of all the fire. And the king does go down, it looks like. Did he go down? Wait. No, he's not. He's still... <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's still up. But the uh, air defenses are taking their toll on the healers and one by one they're going down. The queen is still left, but the queen is not as strong as the king. She's not a defensive character and she's going to go down next. So the only way to fight against a troll attack is you got to troll back. Good stuff. Alright you guys, let's see if we can do a live raid real quick. What do we have? Uh, oh, this looks like a go white, if I'm not mistaken. This guy is serious about this. He wants to get those stars. He doesn't have no time for trolling. He just wants to get those stars and get out of here. So he's got his Pekka's pushing their way in. The golems are taking all of the firepower. Now I'm not sure if that's four golems or three. It looks like it might be just a team full of golems. I can't really tell. But in any case, he's made it to the town hall. He's activating the rage spell and the king's going ham on that town hall. He's taking out the infernal towers first and now he's working his way around. The queen, I don't know what she's doing back there. Maybe she's just scouting out, scouting the place out, make sure there's nobody coming from behind. Don't you guys worry. I got you back. Let me just get the rest of this loot and I'll be right there. <clears throat> now this is the problem with a lot of attackers usually when they do this. So typically when you get to the middle like this and you use your jump spell to get in, you don't have a way out and you just have to force your way out. And uh, unless Pekka's are actually doing a lot of damage on the walls, it's going to be hard for the king to get out. So he's managed to get out, but he's got all of the weapons targeted onto him. So the queen's left over. She's got 2% left. 1%. Can she get this last 
star right here for the 50%. It looks like she's going to go down before she could get it, but he has cleanup work going around to take out the, the other structures on the outside. And that gets him the two star, a very nice raid by King's Throne. He's just doing a little collecting of these storages here. Very nicely done. I'm still trying to figure out what these compositions these guys are using because it's getting a lot harder now that the Archer Towers are shooting twice as fast. Alright, so let's see if we can see another replay here. And it looks like this is going to be another troll attack. He wants to go on with these healers. He said, I'm not done. I've got more to prove. He's, he's going to try and get that Town Hall. And he's going to use these healers to do it. But let's see if he can actually do it this time. I just don't think they're, this strategy is as good anymore, especially on max bases. You ask it for trouble when you go up against this type of base. Okay, so he's going on this side down here. He's going to work his way up. It looks like he does have a little bit of a path, though. If he could just maintain these healers. Okay, he's activating the raid spell. He's going to try and take out all of these clan castle troops. He's got his healers backing him up. The king is just... So holy is not going down. Nothing phases him right now. But those uh, air defenses are just taking their toll on him. Okay, so the healers are actually healing the golem, but they switch targets and go to the queen. And good timing because she's taking a lot of firepower right now. The king's left outside to defend himself. Now this is interesting because the queen is not meant to take all this damage, and she's going to go down pretty fast. But he's using the race spell to do double heals. Whoa, and the archer, uh, sorry, the infernal tower is locked onto her. She gets all of her health back, but she moves around. That's really cool. She moved away from the infernal towers. It's like she understood she was going to die there. She went around, and now she's trying to defend her healers in the back. She's taking out all of these weapons if she can. She's got to get through this wall first to get to that town hall. But it doesn't look like she's aiming the right way. That infernal tower probably scared her away. She doesn't want to go that route. <laughs> okay, the wall is almost down. The wizard's locked on as well as the motor. She's got about like three or four weapons locked onto her. Let's see if she can take these things out. Here come the minion squad. They're going to slap and hit, but they're going to go down too. And it looks like she's locked on. The infernal tower is locked onto her too, and that burns through hills. So the queen goes down. And that is it. A really nice troll raid though, I love those. Okay you guys, let's get to our next live raid. And we have actually King's Rock this time. Going in, this is a job, because job is attacking. And let's see what he can do. Now it looks like another go white, if I'm not mistaken. With mass golems. He's got about four of these guys it looks like. Wait, four? Yeah, four. Okay. Now, the idea behind this raid, you guys, is basically when you have this many golems, they're the ones that are going to take all the firepower off of your heroes. I think you can only have like 10 or 12 wizards max if you're going to have a P.E.K.K.A. go with you. So the idea is just to have the heroes clean up all of the work while the golems take all the firepower off. Now, this has been working for a lot of people, but it is a risky and a difficult raid nonetheless. It's supposed to be a really safe attack just to get to the town hall. And it looks like it's working for him. He's already got the 49%. He's need one more building. The queen looks like she could do it. She's got the clan castle and she's working on the expos now. A really nice solid attack. He's gotten it pretty soon, pretty early. And that'll get him the stars that he needs. I'm really enjoying these types of raids where we're seeing leaderboard characters go at it again, you guys. I haven't been doing this in a while, but I'm enjoying it so far. So right now, the war stands at 49-42 in King's Throne's favor. I really like this stuff, you guys. And we're going to continue this. There's going to be a part two where we're going to check it out again and see how the results go. But we're going to go over to the King's Rock side and see how they're doing. So thank you guys for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you next time. Godson out.